Hello, hello. Uh, I, have, I say this quite a lot, but it's been a while. <laughs> uh, we've had a gazillion things going on here, uh, including a massive house rearrange. Um, and I mean massive, which I, I might talk about later in the video, but I'm not going to bore you with it now. Um, basically, a few while ago, a few, I don't know how long ago it was now, I pasted these um, little envelopes that I made. Po um, they were inspired quite heavily, as you can probably tell, by um, Kerry Fellows, who's witchcraft DJ. And um, people were asking me to do a video, and I wasn't going to do one because Kerry did one however i have to do a video because it's been a while and i wanted something easy that was you know not going to be too complicated <laughs> and obviously it's my spin as well so it's probably going to be most it's mostly no kit no kits um but i am going to use some of my labels which i just thought i would pop along and you know create some envelopes with no kits pretty much so the first thing I've got is obviously my envelope and um, I don't think I've got any of these left, these really nice, they're, they're um, legal legal document envelopes, they are pretty big so they would probably go as happy mail, they won't go in an, uh, a journal probably unless you're making a tall skinny one. So I've just got these, um, these envelopes, uh, they are, um, they're quite old, I don't know if they're vintage, they're quite old. And I'm going to start by inking them, obviously. And, oh, that's not my right one. Um, I've got some of these. Oh, I should have had the label out. I will post the link to these down below. It was it was quite a wait, but it was worth the wait, um, is all I'm going to say. I mean, they're so beautiful. Uh, somebody in the Facebook group posted them, and I messaged and asked they are from etsy uh, they are fabulous and they're really lightweight as well i was expecting them to be quite heavy but they're not at all so they're marvelous I'll, I'll i'll post the link for these in the description uh it would have been nice to have some brown envelopes actually but um my brown envelopes are smaller and they're a little bit um they're quite flimsy they're not very sturdy uh, i might even be able to sew these because these are a little bit bigger they are i'm just trying to decide where I'd, i think i'll put my little hmm. now here's a dilemma because on these particular envelopes um obviously they open like so and i've managed to put my little clip here now these ones i'm assuming i'm going to put on a journal page that way now if I put a grommet in here they're not going to close so I might have to put the grommet in here and then yeah I'll put the grommet in there okay so first thing I'm going to do is grab some stamps um oh you can see where I was naughty and didn't, <laughs> didn't clean didn't clean my stamps let's take these two little bit of text on here um i'm gonna use i want actually do i want a dark oh yeah i actually want quite a dark ink so i'm gonna use my ground espresso although should i let me find a i've got a bit of a book page here what i'm gonna do is That's still quite dark, but not as dark as that. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one, I think. I mean, you can use any stamp on those the other envelopes I did. I used, if I remember rightly, um, oh, maybe I did. Um, I did use these, I think. I thought I'm, I'd used some ticket ticket stamps, but I hadn't. So can use that. Let's let's have a little look. Okay, so um, I've got scraps of music paper. Just going to 
gonna have a little scrap of music paper and I've got, got this and I've got some book page that's fine cool. that's fine. I think this is from a botanical book so it works quite nicely it's just literally two strips of paper I don't know if I'm going to be a little bit mm, don't know don't know if I'm going to be a little bit plain up there that's okay that's okay right now I'm going to switch back to my vintage photo and just ink these little pieces I can go that side make them quite grungy it is literally the most simple collage ever very very simple but I needed something simple to get back in the swing of it because it's been a long time so yeah basically um, we decided that we live in a small house and we kind of I don't know if I want that side actually yeah. we um, I'm getting out the tree stump <laughs> we um, live in a small house and the craft stuff we basically had two desks in the dining room and when we wanted to work we pulled out a dining table drop leaf dining table and um, to eat sorry so we we pulled this table out every day and I really missed having a dining room and it was getting a bit of a pain looking around the whole house to find whatever craft item or art item that I wanted because it was everywhere it was in the lounge it, it was everywhere so what we did was we have made what was our bedroom which is where I am right now into our kind of craft workroom um, we have a sofa bed coming on the 20th of January that's a whole new story but we, we have a sofa bed coming on the 20th of January which is an everyday one so um, it's suitable for sleeping on and uh, yeah big big changes big changes um, so that was fun that was fun literally furniture moving and um, every room in the house has changed every single room but I have a dining room and I have a workspace and because we've got a dresser now in the dining room I've made space in the kitchen it's kind of life-changing really it's been a huge huge thing the only issue is um, we currently don't have a bed or a sofa so we had to get a futon <laughs> which it's not the most comfortable thing in the world but it's okay but before that we did buy a sofa bed which we slept on once and um, got rid of it got rid of it because it was not suitable for sleeping on every night but there we go so I've just torn that little flower out there I quite like that um, I have now I don't know if this is going to work for what I want to try with it this is decorators tape now I could just stick that on actually but I'm not going to I'm going to try and use it to stamp myself a little grid Ooh, I like it, like it, like it. There we go, look at that. That's quite cool. And I won't waste that because I can use that for something else. So yeah, we've um very tired, very achy, loads and loads and loads going on. Um I'm gonna come back to this one because I'm gonna do some splashes, but I want to do those at the end. So let's do another one.
I think I'm going to go for this one and then the next one I'm going to make sure I put the music paper on the outside so there's a little bit more of, I mean these are so so easy and they are relaxing just stress-free crafting and we all need a bit of that don't we we all need a bit of stress-free crafting it's like I haven't done a whole heap of crafting I've been um, I've been working on a new kit which I will video tomorrow um, I have made four journals which I plan on videoing the day after tomorrow <laughs> well, I have no idea what day of the week it is it's a Monday I think it's Monday um, yeah so I know I'm a bit of a scatterbrain and I do apologise but I had to just come along and do something today so I'm going to turn that this way again In the zone and I'm going to come along tomorrow um, I might give you a sneak peek at what I've done ready for tomorrow's video um, oh that's my favorite I like that like that a lot um, I, I got these stickers from Etsy um, if you are interested um, you can just search vellum stickers nature stickers um, clear stickers um, dried flower stickers was what I searched for these for these particular ones and they do look very much like dried flowers um, okay so I've got my three envelopes now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this and I'm going to grab this and I have and I'm probably going to make a terrible mess because um, let me just show you this is what happened when I made the last ones <laughs> that's my keyboard um, now this is where the if you're not using a kit stop now they're stamps they're not a kit you could use a stamp This is the tin I should have got prepped and ready. Um, labels. I'm going to use some labels. I think I'm going to go for a green one on there. Um, something red. Oh, perfect. Hmm. That one's even more perfect because it's smaller. And I want something blue for this one. Could we could we really call that fine art? Let's call that fine art. Why not? Okay. Right. I wanted to do this very quickly and without any any errors because I really don't have the kind of the time or energy I just feel really drained from the move and um, I just wanted to you know just recoup myself today ready for ready for tomorrow to get back on that wagon and I will be doing I will be doing a little oh do I want that up there yeah, I think that needs to go up there, that one. Um, I will be doing a little tour of my new space. It's a it's a big fat mess. It really is. Um, but it's so convenient having everything in one room. Absolutely love having everything in one room. It's made a huge, huge difference right now. So this is where going to get horrible mess horribly messy um i'm using deco art metallic um glorious gold for this um i cannot find my toothbrush 
not my toothbrush that I use to clean my teeth, but my toothbrush that I use to. Oh, guess what I've just found? I found my toothbrush. <laughs> my little art toothbrush. Okay, so got my new fat face jumper on. Probably not the best thing to be wearing for this either. Um, I know Kerry used uh, something completely different to do her splatters. Try and keep this face down. One, one down. The only thing with the toothbrush is you don't get any really big splatters, but that's okay. Oh, ambulance. This is the only drawback there will be because even though you could hear the traffic in the previous um in the previous room it's even louder here because we are now at the front of the house rather than at the back of the house but there we go that's those so far love them love them right need that need these actually this one i think what i'd like to do Let's add so I would pop this onto if this was the if this was a journal page I would attach that so they'll probably all have a paper clip on eventually okay they, they dry quite quickly so I'm not too worried about the about the paint now let's see if this is actually I'm gonna try it on this one this is not my favorite this is not my favorite so I'm gonna try it on this one because I'm not really sure how this is gonna hang and work out I'm just gonna grab an eyelet put this in there shut might work better if this was on a um, on a jump ring but we'll see we'll see the envelopes not very thick so the eyelet is not working particularly well in here either those document those legal envelopes were much much bigger there we go that's quite cute like it Okay, so I'm going to go for it on this one too. Make sure I use the right size. Need to do a little bit of touch up with the glue. Get my art glitter glue under there. I'd quite like to sew these as well. I think they'd look quite cute sewn before the eyelet in just around there. They would look very cool actually. Right, what else have I got? Oh, little bees. We'll put that on the next one. So I've got an acorn. days we're still up to half an hour almost last one so apart from the label these are no kit no kit creates so um, I need to do more of these. I've got lots of papers and things that I'd like to use up. But like I said, once you're back on that on that roll, it's much, much easier. And I had got, you know, I had got quite regular with the videos again. And then it all just went horribly wrong when we decided to do the move around. But 
lovely it's almost done now there we go quick create no kit apart from the labels ignore the labels um, I just thought they had to have them love that one that's my favorite um, thanks for the idea Kerry thank you for watching um, I promise you oh I'm going to very very quickly show you um, some tags that I've made with a new kit that I will have coming out tomorrow very very quickly um, but I was playing with the tags yesterday um, and I will get that get that released tomorrow as well as a new label kit um, hopefully thank you for watching I will see you all really really soon but like tomorrow um, take care stay safe bye